I don't know about you, but when I'm on my computer, which seems to be quite a lot, I tend to use shortcuts to get things done a little bit quicker. When working in Notion, there are so many different shortcuts you can use on the keyboard, so I thought I'd go over my top 30 and most commonly used shortcuts. <laughs> Just a quick note before I get started, I am a Windows user, so when you see all the shortcuts and you see Control and Shift, just swap them over for Command and Option if you're on Mac. I'm sure you'll be playing around with some of the shortcuts after the video anyway, so let's just get into it. So the first shortcuts are actually to help you navigate around Notion, so when you click on the page, if you don't want to go onto that page, you can push Control back bracket to go backwards a page, and Control forwards bracket to go forwards a page. Some people may like using the dark mode, so a shortcut to get there is Control shift l and get back is the same thing. If you're like me and like using emojis to make your workspace look a little bit more exciting, the shortcut on Windows is Windows Plus, or you could use Windows colon, and I know on Mac you can use Control Command Space. When you are typing on a page and you want to make the next line, but you want to keep it in the same text block, instead of pushing Enter, which opens up another block, you can actually hold Shift and then push Enter, which keeps you in the same block. If you want to separate your workspace using dividers, I used to use the backslash command and then typing in divider, but a quicker way to do this is actually using just three straight dashes. When you are working with text in Notion, most of the shortcuts are the same, so if you were to highlight the text, you can use Control-B to bold the text, Control-I to make the text italic, Control-Shift-S actually puts a strike through for it. If you want to add a link, Control-K, and it brings up the link bar, but if you already have a link copied, you could just highlight the text and Control-V to paste the link in there. When you are working with text and you want to create an indent, what you can do is push the tab button. And what it does is it nests this text block inside the text block above it. What this does mean is when you move the top text block, it will move the bottom one with it. If you want to unnest that text block, you can then push Shift and Tab to bring it back to two individual text blocks. A quick way to change the block that you're in is by using the backslash command and then turn into whatever you want. That backslash command can also be used to change the color of the text, so backslash and then whatever color that you want. To go back to the default color, backslash default, we'll put it back to black. Zooming in and zooming out of Notion works exactly the same as every other window. Control plus to zoom in and Control minus to zoom out. There are loads of different ways to duplicate things on Notion, but the way that I choose to use is by holding the Alt button, clicking and then dragging whatever you want to duplicate into whatever space that you want. A quick way to select the block you're currently in is by pushing the Escape key when in the text. If you want to select all the blocks, you can just hover over Clean Space and push Control A. Once you have selected one block, you can hold Shift and Up to highlight more, or if you just want to move up, you can use the arrow keys to navigate around the blocks. When working in a database with a board view, you can actually select all of the cards, control, backslash, and what this allows you to do is change all of those cards to the exact same thing. So if we change the status to completed, all of them will go over to completed. Personally, when I'm using Notion, I don't actually like using the sidebar. I feel like it crushes some of the space, so I use the shortcut control forward slash to hide that. When you're using the toggles to hide loads of things on a page, you can actually use the shortcut control alt T to open up all of those toggles, and to hide them again is the exact same shortcut. The last nine shortcuts I'm going to show you are the nine numbers on the keyboard, so I know it's going over 30, but I can't really do the first five and leave out the last four. So when you're in the block, you can hold Control Shift 1 to turn it into a heading 1, Control Shift 2, heading 2, Control Shift 3, heading 3, Control Shift 4, makes it into a do list block, Control Shift 5, makes it a bullet point, Control Shift 6, makes it a number, Control shift 7 turns it into a toggle, Control shift 8 turns it into code, and Control shift 9 turns it into a page. Make sure you check the video out over here for more productivity related tips, tricks and tool videos. I'll see you there.